Hello, it's Elle, and this is not Lego Friends or Disney or anything. This is actually Ninjago, and I do like a variety of lines, so I think a lot of them have things to add, um, but this is Spinjitzu Burst Kai, set number 70686, and it has about 50 pieces, and these little toy type top type things i always like getting at least one to check out what ninjago is offering for new pieces and stuff also they actually have really cool boxes um this is folded up pretty crazy actually um yeah it's it, it just looks cool to me um i wish they did that with more of the like lego friends and smaller boxes and stuff like that i think it's just looks really neat and i think that could attract customers and stuff but I, as much as i don't really care about the boxes i think this looks pretty cool actually and yeah like i said i normally get these because they have a lot of unique and interesting and different parts um so those are things that i really look at um you do get some orange in here which is a bit of a rare color and you get some gray slopes which are pretty nice um, some brackets, which are cool. You get some of these kind of different type of gray slopes. Um, but then it gets a little weird. Um, you get one brick of vibrant coral. You do get one of these light gray gold bars. You get a little Technic piece. Not too special there. You get a rubber band and another Technic piece. Not too special there. Now into these pieces, this is where it kind of gets weird. So this is like the mechanism piece, and it actually has technicals here. Um, this is actually where you put the spinner type thing. Um, just a really weird piece, but I can see people use it for detail parts or trying to get some sort of weird angle or something. Um, just a neat different kind of bigger piece. Uh, it does come with a gear, which is kind of a interesting type piece here um you do also get this like spinner tip or something like that um yeah I, I don't know this doesn't to me have a lot of use but i guess you could use it as kind of a landing gear or something it is kind of corkscrewed there it's meant to go with this um but then we have a figure here and i don't have any as headgear on um this is energized kai or something i am not a ninjago fan this is kind of cool he does have some printing on his legs kind of like a cloth wrap um really kind of really cool fire dragon on the back that's pretty awesome um just that torso alone would be kind of cool um he only has the one face obviously but if you position it right in something you could use it as just a plain red mini figure head now he does come with this kind of hat in red which i don't see too much but i think that's kind of cool to get that in red and of course he has some sort of ninja mask always they do um this one goes right over the head and has two different colors there i'm not a fan of ninjas because i like the ninjago sets i have tons of ninjas um but not really excited about them he also gets quite a few of these translucent red cheese type slopes or slopes just a one by one there um but now the really interesting parts and kind of the main reason i probably bought this one is this type of part so we have gold mixed with red mixed with trans red on this piece you get four of them in here and as far as i can tell they're fairly identical besides the mix is going to be different on them and they clip on via a bar and i do have a sample bar here so it kind of has a weird way to get in so you get it in and it doesn't hard clip it free floats pretty much designed like that for this toy mechanism that it is um but i guess if you wanted to use it as a flag you'd have to like lock it up there with something but this part doesn't come in here but this is just an example of how like it fits in there so it's loose it doesn't hard clip but you could use this for other things i'm sure um but it's just a cool looking piece and the different colors on it and stuff like that just makes it look pretty cool um you get four of those like i said and the things they're actually supposed to attach to is this interesting piece so we got a two by two bottom here um and then effectively it goes into four 
of those type of bar type extensions here. And you can see them all around and it's almost about two plates high, I would say. And then it goes into two studs with a very tiny divider. Now, one of the things I did find out because I played around with it is that a normal sized brick or something will not fit in there because that divider is too close to the stud. If we take the figure though, the figure can stand in there just like so. And that's the design of it. But I'm really, I didn't know this piece was going to be in there because I was looking at how these connected and I was very curious because I didn't know if it was going to be a bar or some sort of Technic or whatnot. But this is an interesting piece. You only get one per these things. I'm pretty sure of it. But it's a very unique type of piece. Having four bars all around it, I like having things like that. So I'm sure people will be able to use this to make tons of crazy different things. Um, that's kind of why I get this. some of these Ninjago stuff. They do have different parts and a assortment of pretty cool parts. Um, overall, this set is kind of an okay for me. The real bummer is the figure. Um, like I said, I have tons of ninjas. I guess this guy could work with my fire army. So that is a really cool back torso though. Um, I really think that's awesome looking actually, but like I said, I have tons of ninjas and no overbearing use for them. So, but I'm going to quick build this up and just kind of check it out because I don't think it needs a solo review. So you'll see a little kind of review or how it looks at the end of this video. Okay, here we go. It's all built up. Um, I played around with it a little bit just to see how it works. Um, one thing I'll point out is it looks pretty cool. You definitely have the kind of lava rock type look that this Ninjago line is going with this season. Um, but this doesn't work. Um, it doesn't work as it's supposed to. The concept is, is that you hit this down, this spins out, and then these are supposed to spin out. Unfortunately, unless it does it in the random ch ch chance of me doing this, it doesn't typically really do that. And of course, it doesn't always work either. The faster and more aggressive the force you put on it, the better it goes. So there you can see it goes. You can see the wings do not really come out. They do come out very a small amount right initially, but for the most part, they, they don't come out at all. And like I said, there's varying degrees, obviously, of doing it. Well, that actually worked that time. That was really random. I haven't had that happen. So maybe it's if you loosen the rubber band, it will come out. Or you have to just hit it really, really hard. Let me try and really hit it hard somehow. So there it goes. If you really wanted to do it easier, I did play around with this. Just kind of try to put the rubber band right under the little nub where it's supposed to go. And it will kind of keep it, but it will actually make it so it can pop off a lot easier. Like that. And it might actually pop it off, but that still works. So if you really want to get that effect, you can do that. Otherwise, you might just have to kind of work with the rubber band a little bit, loosen it up. Because in my experience, it, it didn't do that off screen at all. <laughs> so the chance that it has to do that. So obviously the concept is you could get another one of these and you could battle them out, verse each other and see who could win. Um, it's a lot cooler when they do come down because um, it looks awesome. But like I said, it doesn't really do that. And I could probably actually see myself playing with this as an adult. As you can see here, except I don't have another one. Make it more fun to have another one. But it's still pretty cool. I like the actual spinning when it does actually spin, because it does spin pretty good. Um, the parts not coming out is kind of unfortunate. Um, if it worked as intended, I would imagine it'd be pretty cool, as it would spin out, and then eventually it would close back up. But just alone, this does look kind of cool. One problem is, is that if you take these out, the rubber band off, they won't stay like that. So, I mean, you could have it hanging from a ceiling. Maybe this is like a lava chandelier or something like that you could have. It'd be pretty cool. 
different effects. Maybe even use the one, if you cover all the glow, gold, make it look like an exhaust out of a spaceship or something. But just neat part, kind of cool function. I've spent about 10 minutes on this video already, and it's like a $10 set. So that's all I really got to say. I want to thank you for watching. Actually, you can make it into like a flower too. That's kind of cool. But that's pretty much it here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.